Why you choose this one? <laughs> oh, shit. If you see my other one, the Catchy Current Creative, he basically just proved it to me. And I pointed out that Catchy Current Creative before this one came out. Plus, I fuck with Jay Cole. So. so I love him. You know, doing material on Red Arts. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Eric Stacks from My Rap Mentor. And for those who don't know me, I'm a rapper, I'm a rap coach. I specialize in teaching rappers how to rap, how to make money, build a fan base, promote, so on and so on. Also, you can find me on Instagram at Eric underscore Stacks and My Rap Mentor. I'm going to have my cameraman put the information out at the bottom, so check me out there too. And today, I'm going to be teaching you guys about how to stay relevant in the rap game using J. Cole's new song, Middle Child, as an example. Roll around with my posse stacking bills. Fucking all of these hotties on the real. My girlfriend, she hated how I live. She says she riding still. She know I'm young and shrill. And for those who haven't seen the first part to this video, which is called Triple C's, which stands for Catchy, Current, and Creative, you can check that out down in the description box down below. It pretty much explains what in detail of what that means for this video. So, if you heard J. Cole's new song, which is called Middle Child, you will notice that he used my formula, which I like to call Triple C's, which stands for Catchy, Current, and Creative. The reason why, once again, catchy, the flow is catchy. Um, you know, he had catchy hooks, he used melodies, which is catchy. The reason why it was um, current is because mainly the beat was trap. J. Cole usually don't use a lot of trap beats, but the beat had a, you know some trap elements, which made it current. The reason why it's creative is because J. Cole, you know, he tells nice stories and he also threw some slick subliminal diss in there to cause a little controversy. So that made it creative. So by catchy, I'm gonna go back on it again. So by catchy, the reason why it was catchy to get into a little more detail so it won't be too broad for you is uh, he used a lot of the mumble rap flows like the da 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 you know, which is the more current catchy flow right now, you know what I mean? So that's why it was catchy. The reason why I was current, once again, you know, the trap beat elements. Um, once again, he used to kind of mumble rap flows a little bit. He was mentioning some in his cup. I mean, he didn't say lean, but it gives you the impression that he alluded to lean, which is a popular drug today. And the reason why I was creative, once again, he told a nice story. And J. Cole always tells nice stories. Plus, he has creative songwriting, if you really check that out. But that's a whole nother, whole nother story I'm going to get into. And... Another reason why he was creative because he took a lot of subliminal diss. I don't know if you listened, but he mentioned like, um, I won't be something alluding to the fact that I won't be mad because a nigga slid in my lane. He, he said, uh, I'm not doing records to sell shoes, which to me sounds like Kanye. So that's the reason why it's creative. So as far as staying relevant goes, you will notice that a lot of the legendary artists does this a lot. Whether it's Kendrick, whether it's J. Cole, Drake, Jay-Z, Kanye, so on, so on. Even um, legendary singers and pop artists. The goal is to stand out just enough to be remembered, but to ride the wave just enough to blend in. So to simplify things, this mostly applies to when you're trying to make like a radio song or a hit single. You want to be, you want to stand out as far as like with your flows, your voice, and your delivery. But sonically, you want to blend in, like more so with your beats, your content, and you want to use like current phrases as you will. So basically what I'm trying to say is, if you stand out too much commercially, people may not understand your sound or what you're trying to do. But if you blend in too much, you may die when the wave dies. Well, since I'm a rapper and I like to use metaphors, I'm going to use surfing as the analogy. And just like when you surf, you want to ride the wave and you want to do it in your way. The goal is to leave the wave right before it crashed ashore. And the reason why I say that, mainly because I read this case study, and I forgot the exact name, but it basically said um, people, if you want to have a chance of being commercially successful, uh, you have to ride the current trend to some extent. And what I mean about that is the case study said that people say they like different stuff, but people really don't like things that are different. They like things that are familiar, that is done differently. So using J. Cole's song, The Middle Child, as an example again, to further back up the case study, the reason why it's commercially successful, other than the obvious fact that it's J. Cole, mainly because it's familiar. Okay, 
as right now, you know, the current climate of hip hop is trap or melodies. So J. Cole has the trap beats, which is familiar. He has melodies, which are familiar. And the reason why it's done slightly different is he still throws his own spice with his lyrics. He still throws his own spice with his voice. And he has a unique melody. So that's why it's familiar and it's done differently, which led to increasing the chances of his commercial success. And the main reason why you want to ride the trend to a certain extent, mainly because once again, this video is about staying relevant. Relevant mean longevity. Even though J. Cole is a very, you know, potential iconic artist, you have to realize that when J. Cole came out, it was a different bracket of kids at that time. So he touched people for that era in a different way. So now J. Cole is probably smart enough to realize now, you know, fast forward almost 10 years later, there's a whole new demographic demographic of kids that may not necessarily relate to J. Cole like to his prior demographic. So in order for him to basically carry on to the next generation, he throws some things that they're more familiar with, which is the trap beats, the kind of mumble flows, and the melodies. So if you like this content, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, share this with other rappers that may be interested in this content. Also, follow me on IG. I'm going to mention it again at Stacks underscore S-T-A-C-K-Z. And my rap mentor, I'm not going to really spell that. I'm going to have my camera and put that at the bottom. Let's help each other grow. Peace.